A popular study put out by Ohio State University in 2005 found that 60% of restaurants fail within the first year and a whopping 80% fail within the first five years. These odds have not gone unnoticed by TV networks. Three years ago, you bought the cafe. What was your gross revenue in year one? I have no idea. Why is a social worker and an engineer buy a restaurant? He always had this dream. What experience do you have at running a restaurant? I was a waitress before. As you can see from that clip, my next guest, he is no stranger to restaurants in the red. Robert Irvin is the host of Restaurant Impossible on Food Network, which is airing its 100th episode on May 7th at 10 p.m. Eastern. Robert, thanks for coming in today. So welcome. Uh, so let's talk about the show, 100th episode. Congratulations yeah. on 100 you. episodes. You go into troubled restaurants, a couple of days, $10,000, try to turn them around. What we see is obviously an edited portion of that. Yeah. What don't we see when you go into these restaurants? You see, you see pretty much everything there is. Obviously, this is a, a 42 minute show, mm -hmm. um, and I really have 36 hours to change their life. Uh, what they don't tell you is that I don't know anything about these families. And I really don't. I mm -hmm. choose not to know. Uh, so when I get in there, it's actually real. These are real people with real problems, and I bring real solutions to success mm -hmm. if they listen. So you're not involved at all picking the, the restaurants? No. Your no. team does that? I have a team that. of people to do yeah. that. I just show up. I'm doing one in New Jersey tomorrow. I don't even know where it is. I just know it's a bowling alley. Wow. That's it. You've done a bunch of these now. Is there a common theme that you see? I mean, we can glean a little from watching the shows, but in your experience, is there a common theme among these businesses? Well, I think, first of all, um, everybody thinks it's easy to run a restaurant. Right. So if they've had another job uh, and they've been, you know, um, let go from that job, mm -hmm. they take that money um, and they go into the restaurant business. Why? Because they think it's easy, they're going to make money, right. they've got friends that can come there. And it's the same with, you know, um, families as hell. Mom, you're a great cook, and you're great with people. You should open right. a restaurant. Don't. Um, I end up fixing those restaurants. Uh, money, when you're making money, everything is great. But when you start to see that tighten and disappear, then you start to see the cracks in the armor of the restaurant. Yeah. You know, bad food, bad service, uh, bad cleanliness, bad staffing, no leadership skills, uh, and the list goes on. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people think that, well, it's a TV show, it's a reality show. I don't even know if it's real, they're really struggling or not, whatever. Uh, but they are really struggling. And not only that is, what I want to ask you about is, is what you do after the cameras stop rolling. Okay, so we have a real 36 hours and a real $10,000. And there is no, uh, there's no playing, there's no script. I walk in, we turn the cameras on, mm -hmm. I go, you see it. But after the restaurant has, has had that you know, 36 hours and I leave, uh, we've left them with new menus, with, with a new design, new, new training. But I follow up with those restaurants. I keep in contact with every restaurant we have ever done, not because the network says so, but because I want to make sure that they continue to be successful. You know, I, I still see P&Ls. I still see uh, wow. menu revisions. Really? Um, I, I mean, I, I, Joe Willie's in Fishkill, New York, uh, New York. Um, Sapporo di Italia in Phoenix. I mean, people that they've even sold their restaurant, I still keep in contact with. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you'd asked me when we started the show three years ago, would you become attached to the people? I would have went, no, we're into paint and put new floors down and put a menu in. Right. And that's not the case. Um, you become so bonded with those people over that 36 hours, you're part of their family. Uh, this, this question, you might think this question is a little odd, and I don't mean it to be odd. Okay. Uh, a lot of TV shows in America have British guys telling us how to do things better. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, the British guys well, can't cook. <laughs> There's something well, well, funny. Why is that? Well, what is the, <clears throat> why do we like having British people tell us what to do? I, I don't know why that is. I can tell you from a, from a structure. I was in the military. So for mm -hmm. me, you know, we start with that goal in mind and we work backwards to fix a problem. Um, I don't need to use profanity. I don't need to shout, although I, you know, I do get upset. Oh, like see, certain you other uh, hosts you of uh, see, restaurant well, shows. I'm not, I'm not going there, but <laughs> you see the real Robert Irvine. You don't yeah. see a guy that, that is putting on fake things. That's my real life. I have a mission. I need to get it done. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're going to do, because in 36 hours, I'm either going to make you or you're going bankrupt. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, we're at 65% success rate right now. Last week it was 78. You know, week by week it changes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know any other reality show, uh, A, that cares as much for the business and the people right. and the families and their well-being um, and cares about their success like we do. My wife and I are fans of the show. We watch the show. Great. And uh, I have to say a first, it's not even a question, it's a comment. 
uh, you're jacked. <laughs> What the hell? You are, we watch the show and I say, that, well, that guy's, you know, I think that guy's really big. Like, well, television, big. you know, Paul, adds 20, 20 pounds to you. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm I sitting lean, here with you. I, I don't lean, think so. I'm lean. Uh, you are a fitness fanatic, right? Yeah. Well, you know, my wife uh, is, a, is a professional wrestler. Mm -hmm. um, we work Seriously? Out yeah, she really? prefer, Gail Kim. Yeah, uh, she works uh, TNA. So we work out all the time. When she's mm -hmm. on the road, she work out on her own. And I take my whole team from Restaurant Impossible in the morning. Uh, we go work wow. out. So yeah. All right, Robert Irvine, Restaurant Impossible on Food Network. Hundredth episode coming up this month. Thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it. Great. And that is it from WSJ.com. Thanks for watching.